Hello guys and welcome back to my channel. My name is Courtney and I post videos like this every Sunday and I would really really love it if you could subscribe to my channel. So today's video um, I just thought that I would sit down, I haven't done like a chit chatty video like this in a while so I just thought that I would sit down and sort of share things that I have learned um, after uploading onto YouTube for one whole year. So yeah, let's just get into the video. So I have actually written some things down, so I'm probably gonna end up referring to my notes um, throughout this video. But um, the main reasons for uh, filming this video is that when I first started uploading on YouTube, I really enjoyed watching these type of videos and I actually found them really useful. And I think I've done pretty well at this moment in time. My channel has over 50,000 views. Um, I have 600 and like seven subscribers, which I mean, I wish we were a little bit closer to a thousand, but that's fine. We're gonna get there, we're gonna get there. So uh, yeah, I just thought that I would um, sit down and just sort of read off um, some of the tips that I've written down. So the first one is to plan your videos. So. This one I never did at the start. It took me a couple of months to sort of get into the swing of it. And by planning your videos, I just mean that have a plan in place for say a month. For me, I upload once a week, every Sunday. So I know at the start of August, every video that I'm going to film and upload in August. And it just really helps to keep me organized and to keep me uploading consistently. If it's like a Friday, I still haven't filmed anything, which means I haven't edited anything and I don't have any ideas. It leaves me scrambling to get content out there and be consistent. And it just, it would mean that my content wouldn't always be as good quality as I would want it to be. So by planning my videos at least um, a month in advance, then I know that I have enough time to prepare, write some notes, um, or even if it's just, I know that I've got a really crazy week with something. I know that maybe I need to film it um, earlier on in the week and then edit it a bit earlier than I normally would, just so that I know that it's ready to go for my upload day. And this one then sort of goes into the next tip, which is to be consistent. So manage your schedule, be aware of your other commitments. I assume that YouTube isn't the only thing that you're that you're doing, especially if you're just starting off. You'd be very lucky if YouTube would be the only thing that you're doing. I assume that you'd be doing um, university, you might have a part-time job, you might have a full-time job. So knowing that you have other commitments that are going to take up the majority of your time, it's important to reflect that in your upload schedule, which is why I only upload once a week. I would love to upload more, but currently having enough time to film, edit once a week at the moment whilst... Um, maintaining a full-time job, a social life, um, making time to exercise and time just for any other hobbies that I have, that is at the moment, that is like the optimum that I can do. I couldn't upload any more at the moment unless um, I had a week off and I might do a random midweek upload. But currently to be consistent, I only upload once a week. Um, and I think it's important to um, try and upload at the same time every week. If you, you will start to generate um, subscribers, hopefully, and they will get accustomed to your upload schedule. So if you say you're going to upload at four o'clock every Sunday, upload at four o'clock every Sunday. If that day doesn't work for you and you want to do a midweek um, upload, then make it a midweek upload. But make sure that you are consistent. And if there's going to be any interruptions to your schedule, just pop a little message on your socials just so that people, if people are expecting that content, then they're going to be aware that it's going to be late or it's not going to be happening that week. So it may sound silly if you're a small YouTuber, but honestly, I do sometimes get messages from people being like, what's this week's video? Or like, what, how, when are you uploading? And you do start to like, you will get people who look forward to your content. So it is important to make sure that you're being consistent and managing your schedule. So when I first started uploading last August, I was just using Windows Movie Maker and I didn't know how to edit at all. And the quality of my first videos really, it's um, it's not great. I haven't gone back and watched them because I think I'll just like cringe my absolute head off. So yeah, but I then, started using um Dom's old MacBook and I was using um 
iMovie, which was brilliant. It worked really well, but the Mac that we had was like 10 years old. So the Mac itself was just a little bit slower. So um, I actually invested in Filmora and I think it was like £35 for the year. So that's really good. If I'm using that at least once a week, then I think I've got my money's worth. And you, ha you get like sound effects on there. All these things you can get for free, but if you can invest £35 a year to have good quality editing software, it doesn't have to be Final Cut Pro. You don't have to pay £250 for it. £35 and it's working really well for me. And then the second one, create a consistent thumbnail. Um, I learned this tip off the content bug, I think a channel's called. Uh, and it's basically, you want a thumbnail that's gonna be recognizable to your channel. So you want your thumbnail to pop up and without even looking at the name or seeing your photo, people are gonna know, oh, that's from Courtney's channel because it'll have like the same font, the same sort of like, the same branding, which is what I've started doing recently. And I just feel like it looks a lot more professional on my channel. It just, everything just looks a little bit more cohesive. So that would be that tip. And then the next tip I've got would be learn um, and use your analytics. So I'm sort of still learning about the analytics, but I make sure that I keep a check every month to see that my views are consistently improving. Um, so if you don't, if you haven't heard of the analytics before, it's basically YouTube actually provides you with um, data and a breakdown of like your watch time, uh, your audience retention, your views, um, where your audience is coming from, uh, the age of your audience. It gives you so much information. And even if you, you don't understand how to interpret it all, there's definitely things that you can look on there. So it will even tell you when the majority of your viewers are on YouTube. So that can help you to develop your schedule. So if you know that most of your um, subscribers are on at six o'clock on a Sunday, that could be the day, the time and the day that you upload. And um, they'll also give you a breakdown of like your audience. So the majority of my audience does come from the UK and the US. It's increasing in the US a lot more, which makes me now think maybe I need to reevaluate my upload schedule to more in line with my US viewers. Um, but not sure on that yet. That's, that's miles off yet. But it also gives me a breakdown that most of my um, audience are between the age of 18 and 24. So there's just little things that you can do then to gear your content towards your audience. So I know that haul videos do a lot better on my channel. So I tend to try and get at least one haul video in a month because that's really going to then help your monthly views. At the moment, I'm starting to generate um, about 10,000 views a month, which is really, really good considering I only upload four videos as well. And I've also recently just broke 10,000 views on one single video. So I now I'm gonna go back and do like a part two to that video because if part one does does really well, then hopefully part two would. So it's about learning and understanding what your channel is about and what people actually wanna see and then going with that because it's useless if one of your videos only gets 100 views where the rest are starting to get like a thousand views, ignore the one that's got 100 views come back to that at another time maybe but for now if you're wanting to like build a presence on youtube then um stick with what's doing well on your channel and it sounds like common sense but sometimes you don't always think of these things if you're just trying to think of ideas and think of content to create you might not be necessarily thinking about what your viewer wants to watch so that's um definitely a really good tip uh the next one i've got uh, reply to all the comments to boost your engagement. So this is something that I was kind of aware of, but the more that I've uploaded on YouTube, the more I understand how important it is. So the YouTube algorithm will boost your video onto other people's YouTube feeds, the more engagement that that video has. So the more likes and dislikes, they recognize them both the same. So the more likes and dislikes and comments that your video gets, the more likely it's gonna be seen by other people. So if your video has five comments from five different people, if you then reply to every single one of those comments, your video has just doubled in comments, you then got 10 comments instead of five. So definitely try and respond to every single comment. It can be hard sometimes, especially when the comments are like, 
oh i love this content babe i've actually also got a channel uh, sub for sub that can get a little bit irritating because i'm pretty sure these people never watch the videos they just see it comment they probably comment it on 100 videos a day so it can be a bit frustrating but you've got to remember that that is boosting your engagement more people are going to see it and you're going to gain genuine subscribers the better your engagement is on your videos. So just take a little bit of time each day to just check to see if you've got any more comments and then re respond to them. And that will really help your engagement. So this next tip is really, really important. And it's only compare yourself to other similar YouTubers. So I think it is good to compare yourself to other YouTubers sometimes. I mean, it's pointless you comparing yourself to a channel that's got a million followers if you've only got 1K followers. What you need to do is you need to find similar channels to you that upload similar content, have a similar sub count, and probably also started uploading at the same time as you. It can be a good way to gauge, because um, you'll probably have similar audiences if you upload similar videos. So it can be a good way to gauge how well their videos are doing and then maybe not copy but get inspiration from them you could also reach out to them if they maybe wanted to do like a collaboration if their followers like their content and it's very similar to yours chances are they will cross over so that can be a really good way to generate extra subscribers it's not something that i've done yet but it is something that i might look to do in the future so that is um, a really good tip and something that I would definitely just take a little bit of time to find out who is a similar YouTuber to you and um, maybe just see how often they upload, um, what they use to edit, all these little things that can really just help you gain um, a better quality upload and um, generate better content. One of the next tips is check your junk mail. So if you have an email address linked to your YouTube, um, people can actually see that. And if brands are coming across your YouTube channel and they wanna send you some PR or they want to um, do a collaboration, there's two ways that they're gonna reach out to you. It's probably on Instagram and it's probably through your emails. Now, um, brands that approach you through email are gonna be much more likely to be um, a professional and reputable sort of brand deal. And I mean brand deal, I mean like, sending you something for free because let's be honest they're not going to be giving you a multi-million dollar brand deal if you've just started but chances are they might want to reach out to you for some free marketing for themselves and it also can help you create content so I've actually had this twice now the first time went straight to my junk mail so if I hadn't checked that would have been something that would never have been sent out to me and then the second one they reached out to me on Instagram and then I asked them to send me an email just because it feels much more professional if you do want to go down YouTube to make a bit of money or to um, work with brands then do it through your emails because it is just much more professional than chucking a DM on Instagram so yeah, check your emails and make sure that you have an email address linked up to your YouTube that can be discovered by brands. And then my last sort of two tips, don't burn yourself out. Like I said earlier, YouTube probably isn't going to be the only thing that you're doing. So it is important to be organized and be consistent. If you really are going to try and make it on YouTube, then you know, you really do want to give it everything you've got. But at the same time, don't burn yourself out. If you need a break, that's absolutely fine. The world is not going to stop just because you haven't uploaded for a week or two weeks or even a month. Your subscribers are probably still going to be there. Um, people are a lot more understanding than you think. So don't burn yourself out because you're only going to end up producing bad quality content or not bad quality, but co content that's probably not to the highest quality that you can. So make sure that you still take time for yourself and come back refreshed and creating that really good content that people are going to watch and watch all the way through. And then my last tip is just to enjoy because what is the point in doing something in life if you don't enjoy it? So I really hope that you enjoyed those tips. I hope that they were helpful. Um, I kind of just fancied a bit of a sit down, chit chatty, shorter video today. So I hope that you guys enjoy it. And like I said, in every single video, I really want to get to the to 1,000 subscribers. So if you're not subscribed to my channel, which I know most of you that watch aren't, I've watched my analytics, I've analyzed them, and 94% of people that watch my videos aren't subscribed to my channel. 
I mean, if everybody that watched my videos subscribed, I have like 50,000 subscribers by now. So you're all just being quite selfish. So subscribe to my channel and I will see you guys in the next video. Goodbye.